Okay, in today's video, I want to uh, show you something that I talked about in a past video. And several of you wanted to see how I um, attach shade cloth to the canopy above these maples here with this wiggle wire. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I take something that looks a little messy, where I have um, the shade cloth just basically clamped here to the ends and how I take that and turn that into a nice clean look, nice and flat and tight and tidy with this wiggle wire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this particular um, canopy here and I'm going to go ahead and install some wiggle wire and take you along that process and, um, and just make this look much nicer and much cleaner. Okay, here's the frame that I've built to support this shade cloth. And uh, there on the very back over here, um, I just added that bar and the one to the right to rise it up to the same height as what this is here. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wiggle wire track, cut that to size, and attach that. Okay, you can see that I've got this cut to size, and I've got holes. Uh, I have this on the front and the back. And now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to this with um, some small little screws. Then I will cut the smaller piece to go right here. Okay, I have track on the back as you can see there. I have track on this side. Goes around. And I have track on that side. Now I'm ready to attach the shade cloth with the wiggle wire, and I've found it works best if I attach the shade cloth to the back first, and then attach it to the front. So let's get the shade cloth over this, and then we'll attach the wiggle wire. Okay, so here's the fun part. Now this shade cloth is quite a bit longer than I actually need. Um, I kind of had it rolled up before, uh, but I will cut it to shape. But I just need to basically drape it over this before I attach it and cut it. Okay, for this step, I went ahead and went to the opposite side of the fence, a little easier to get to this. And so I just take this wire here, and once again, this comes in like um, the same size as the track, a little bit over six feet. And uh, I just go ahead and slide this in here. And it, I'm not making it super tight right now because the tightness will come when I do the other side. Um, but I just slide this in. And then if you see here, as you snap this into the channel, you just kind of wiggle it in and it just automatically locks itself in that channel. Try to do that such that you can see it. Um, but you just wiggle this across, making sure it goes down in all the way and snaps. And I do this across this entire back end. After I do this back end here, then we move to the front end. Okay, the back is done. Now we're gonna do this front, and I just need to pull this uh, as tight as possible, and I'm once again just gonna temporarily, at the edges, um, for tightness, clamp this. And that's just gonna make sure that when I do snap that in, it's nice and taut. Okay, so you can see that with this clamp here, I got this decently tight. This will actually tighten it just a bit more. And then I take my, um, wiggle wire strip, and I just find the end of my channel here, put that end there, and then just begin to wiggle this, once again, into that track. So just wiggle that in, wiggle that in, wiggle that in. I definitely recommend you use gloves for this. It makes it easier to grip, and it also keeps you from snagging yourself, cutting yourself. And you just make sure you snap those down all the way so it can lock that in on both ends. And you can see it's already getting nice and tight and we'll get the sides um, at the very end. So I have this clamped halfway here to get this taut. Okay, 
you can see I have a little extra there that I needed to trim off somewhere around there. I'll snap that in and then we can do the two sides. And I'll start with this side um, since this is um, a little tighter here and it's harder to get to. Okay, so now we have here this last side that's not attached. So we can put the wiggle wire in here and then I will be able to go ahead and trim this um, down flush to this end and it'll look really nice. So let me go ahead and uh, get this side done and I'm just gonna kind of slightly um, pull this as I go to make sure it's tight. You can see that wiggle wire kind of natu naturally pulls it tight but I just give that extra little bit to be safe. Okay, that's all snapped in. I just need to trim off this end piece here. And you can see how nice and tight this is and then we can trim off these edges. Okay, so there you go. You can see the wiggle wire is holding that very nice and tight. All the way there, around the back edge, and right there. And you can see it's got a nice tightness to it. All we need to do now is come here and trim this along here. Um, it'll be nice and clean. There's a bunch of excess here. Of course, as I mentioned, this is much bigger than I needed, um, but I can use the rest of this somewhere else in the future if I decide to cover somewhere else. So let me trim this and then I'll wrap it all up. Okay, there we have it all finished and all trimmed. And you can do various levels of perfection when it comes to trimming, but much better than before when I just had it clamped to that. Now that this project is done, I just wanted to quickly mention that if you want to use the same wiggle wire and track that I used, um, I did purchase that on Amazon and I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description. And if you purchase that product using the link I have down below, um, Amazon does give me a commission which helps support this channel at no extra cost to you. Do let me know in the comments section below if you were able to do something similar um, using what I showed you or if you've done something like this in the past. And as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Well, until next time, thanks for watching.